Good evening and Merry Christmas to all. Welcome to Trinity Baptist Church for Silent Night, a dramatic musical for Christmas. Such a miraculous evening when Christ the Lord left the realms of glory and was born in a lowly manger. What a miraculous night. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're heading out to the porch of the Lancasters. Robert Lancaster and his daughter Jordan are sitting on the porch at their farm thinking about Christmas. Dad, I'm bored. Well, since we won't day, nothing exciting ever happens. What do you mean by that? Oh, God. It's the same old hill farm, same old hillside, cows and horses just eating and sleeping. I mean, even old Duke is bored. Where is he, anyways? Duke! Come here, boy. See that? No, it's sound. Well, Jordan, what's the big privilege? I remember my dad just having a Hang on. Remember that far back? Come on now. Go on, Dad. Please. Goodness. Well. Old uh, Bethlehem in Judea. On a hill just like Lancaster's Hill. Right over there where our cattle are grazing, something that always will be remembered. Tell me, Dad, was it a Bigfoot sighting? A monster meteor hitting the earth? An alien invasion? What? Good night, girl. Is that what I'm telling you. You've obviously got humor from your mother. Hey, I heard that. Way, it wasn't for aliens. It was angels filling the Angels? Dad, please. What could possibly be so exciting about angels? Did they get lost and lose their way? No. Apparently, they just appeared out of nowhere with some good news. Some exciting news about a king that had just been born in Bethlehem. Shall I continue? Or is it getting too boring for you? Well, you've already started, so I guess you may as well, I guess you may as well finish. It's not as I have anything else to do. Duke ran off somewhere and just give me a knife if I start to snort too loud. Oh my. Well, let me think. I believe it was something like this. It was a night like any other. On the Judean hillside near the tiny village of Bethlehem, shepherds were going about their duties of tending their flocks beneath a canopy of stars. All at once the night wind carried an unfamiliar and captivating sound. The shepherds were alarmed and could not believe the sight as angels filled the skies overhead and proclaimed the good news of great joy for all people.
I told you to bring a coat. Um, obviously it's not thick enough. Yeah. That's a that's a good thought. Now, which has got the shaggiest coat? But you know, um, if you shear his coat off, he'll freeze to death. Yeah, I don't know. You could just put the whole sheep around your shoulders. Do you see me? <laughs> I could put the whole sheep around my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, but it'll keep you warm. Get around will keep me warm, but it'll probably wear me out in the process. That, uh, you know what they say about getting tired, don't you? What? You'll get over it. Dude, I'll give you hold get over now. it. Hold on, hold on now. We're supposed to be watching these sheep, not scaring them. Yeah. I guess I could apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> you almost did, though. Well, nearly isn't actually doing it. So there. Whoa! What in the world? What is that? Aliens, quick, run! Oh. No, please. Do not be afraid. I have brought good news. Uh, if that news is you're not going to kill us, then uh, I suppose we could... The Savior has been born. Christ the Lord. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us know. You must go. You will go and find him in a manger. And why couldn't they afford him a bed? <laughs> Born this very day. I, uh, I imagine he's very tired then. In Bethlehem. You know, just a guess here. I'm thinking this angel wants us to go to Bethlehem and go visit the king. Do you want us to go vi visit the king? Rude. Yeah, a simple yes would have been. Or a simple no would have been good. Right. <laughs> Or well, yes. No, yes, simple no. Yeah. Well, seems we're off to visit the king. Yeah. No problem. Get out of the way. I do, actually. I do. Do is just follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> the yellow brick road? They followed the yellow brick road? Oh, oh, well, no. I made that up, but they did go to Bethlehem. And did they see the Christ child, like the angel said? Well, aren't you suddenly interested? I thought you said you'd be snoring by now. Come on, Dad. Did they, or did they not? Give me a chance, and I'll carry on. Upon hearing the angel's announcement, the shepherds hurried off to Bethlehem to find the newborn baby.
Oh, you know, if we're gonna go see this baby, I should, uh, we should pay, probably take him a gift. You got any ideas? A crocodile! Oh, good. Wait. They're covered up here on the shows of the movie with crocodiles. Shepard, see crocodiles all the time. more thought here. What could we bring as a gift to a baby king? Man, this is no use, is it? I don't really even know what this thing is. <laughs> Maybe we'll be a baby much longer if we wait. You know, you're right. Come on, let's go. We'll be his gift instead. Which way? This that way. way. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on now, for real. Woo. Let's go. This way, baby turns into a young man and we're too old to walk. Dude, this is the way I was going. You broke your hat there, too. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Man, it's freezing. Well, um, you know, we could have brought a sheep as a gift instead so he wouldn't be cold. What are you saying? <sighs> what I'm saying is you could have carried the sheep on your shoulders, like I had said, and you would have been warm. Oh, yeah. We did talk about that. We did. And we decided that the sheep would be too heavy for me to lug on my shoulders. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. But it would be quieter, though, as you wouldn't be moaning. Charming. How about I'll just stay quiet, then? That, is that better? That is literally the best thing I've heard today all night. Whatever. Let's walk faster. We're here. Are you sure? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Let's go in. <laughs> you first. Uh, after you. No, no, no. Stop pushing. All right. We will go in together. Are you ready? Uh, maybe. 
All right, let's go. Just as the angel said, beneath the light of an unusually bright star, the baby lay, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a simple feeding trough. Kneeling beside the cradle of hay were Mary, the baby's mother, and Joseph, Mary's betrothed. The shepherds drew close in reverent awe and wonder, holding fast to the prophecy that the Messiah would one day come and deliver them. Could this be? Could this be the Savior we've long awaited for? Joseph smiled as he explained that an angel had appeared to him too and proclaimed, you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. In search of a child, they traveled so far, led by an angel to a place Now the shepherds tell a beautiful story describing the glory of a baby boy who has As a tear, joy has laughter, and here ever after, peace has a smile, redemption's blood has veins to flow in, a first to see Jesus. And we got away without giving him a gift. How cool is that? I know. Both of us, of all people. And we got away without taking a gift. Well, we 
or the best shepherd around. In fact, I feel like I've been given a gift instead. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. Um, so what now? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I guess back to the sheep. All right, well, let's go. Oh, you know, I feel different. Yeah. How do you feel different? Hold that for me. Uh-oh. Like I'm about to sing and dance for the Lord. So my ears don't bleed. And when they saw Jesus, it changed their lives forever. I see that. That's kind of cool, Dad. Kind of like last year. Whenever I my life changed. That's exactly right. What was that verse you learned? Yeah, that's right. If you believe in him, you would not perish, but have everlasting life. Jordan, I'm so proud of you. Now, look at those stars. Just look at those stars. Be real quiet. Can you hear it? I can almost hear the angels singing. So why are you still talking? Oh, yeah, you know I'm ready. Hey, and by the way, can we stop at the Walmarts and get some angel food cake? Sure. And I don't know that that's exactly how I have read the story in the Bible. <laughs> they took a lot of liberty with it. But I want you to know it's way more than just a story. It's a reminder to each and every one of us every year of how much God loves us. When it says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, you can put your name in that verse. God so loved you, each and every one of you, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I want to say to you, even as we prepare to celebrate Christmas, I don't ever want us to just assume that it's enough to know the story, that it's enough to know about Jesus. If you really want to experience what Christmas is all about, you need to know the Savior. 
you need to know Jesus Christ. It was several years ago when I was a youth minister. I did not have quite the dance moves that Andy has. But as a youth minister, I had invited our neighbor to come to the Christmas program. And I visited with him afterwards the next day. And he shared with me that he was glad he came, for that was the night he committed his life to Jesus Christ. And I want to say to you, if you're here and you don't know Jesus, you may know the story, you may know about him, but you don't know Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. That's what Christmas is all about. God loved you enough to send his son Jesus to die on the cross, be buried, to be raised from the dead, to be ascended in heaven, that he might prepare a place for you as you trust in him. And if you've never done that, even tonight, don't miss that opportunity. Any number of us would be glad to speak with you about that kind of a commitment to Christ. If you have made that commitment, I want to challenge you to realize Christmas is the perfect time to renew your commitment to Jesus Christ. Because this is way more than just a musical or presentation. This is a reminder. And I hope you will take it to heart and that you will truly celebrate who Jesus came to be. And I would pray who he is in your life. Thank you for being here. Thank you, choir, for this presentation. So as we pause today, and as we remember the glorious reverence of a star-lit and most holy night, uh, we behold the wondrous unfolding of God's perfect plan for our rescue, for our redemption. We remember that it was the Father's great love, His great love for you, His great love for me, that pierced the darkness of our sin with the everlasting light of salvation.
With hearts full of hope and expectation, we lift our voices in triumphant praise. We join the song of angels and shepherds as we rejoice in the birth of our Savior, Christ, the King of Kings. As we await our Lord's return, our hearts will go on singing the praises of Messiah, Jesus, our Emmanuel.
Oh, 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 oh,